Here's the spreadsheet we created earlier showing how far an object in freefall descends for a series of different times. This cell B2, which we've also labeled little g, is the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second per second on the Earth, but we can change that value to be anything we want for, say, other planets, and the entire table is, is calculated as whenever we change the value of g. Now when you look at the table, you see all these numbers down here, and it may not be immediately obvious to you which one are the formulas and which one are input numbers. Now if you created the spreadsheet, then yes, you know which ones are which. But if this is a spreadsheet someone else gave you, or if it's your spreadsheet and you're trying to find a problem where it's not calculating correctly, then it's very handy to see the formulas in the actual spreadsheet instead of just up here in the formula bar. So a way to see the formulas everywhere on the spreadsheet where they appear is to click on the formulas tab and then over here near the right under formula auditing show formulas. Click on that and now wherever there's a formula in the spreadsheet it appears in the spreadsheet. So you can see the 9.8, that's not a calculated result. That's a number that you input. The 0, the 1, the 2 seconds here, those are not calculation results. But these cells here are formulas. And so when we turn off the show formulas, now we go back to the result of the formulas. So this button right here, the Show Formulas command, is very handy for understanding a spreadsheet or for trying to debug to find problems in why your spreadsheet isn't working.